हरि ओम ओम मन सामर्थ्यदाता श्री अनिरुद्धाय नम आई श्रुतिवीरा शाह आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट एंड माई हजबेंड जयेश शाह ही इज ऑल्सो प्रैक्टिसिंग एज अ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट आई केम टू नो अबाउट बापू इन टू थाउजेंड एट वेन माई आंटी रागिनी चौकसी she told us about bapu during that time we were passing through a very difficult phase a very depressive phase of life though being chartered accountant i was not able to do any work professional work since my kids were very small and i had lot of family responsibilities i started with a small practice at home itself so that i can take care of children and do something but not in a very great way i had a very small practice with uh, two staff this continued till uh, around 2004 when my husband jayesh shah he got an opportunity to attend the marathi class which papu was taking and during that time itself incidentally he got detected with a kidney failure that too on a thursday when in the evening there was upasana going on on one side upasana was going on and other side in hospital his scanning was done and it was detected that his both the kidneys have failed doctor who is jayesh's real uncle he told us that he will require to get transplant within a year he has got with a uh, medical problem in medical terminology it is a uh, chronic renal failure because of glomerulonephritis which means that the tissues of kidneys have started damaging and within a year all the tissues will die and will have to go for transplant i was shocked my kids that time younger one was 3 years and elder one was 6 years i was just wondering how this life will go if next year there is a, before next year if there is a transplant what about my kids how am i going to lead my life and what's going to happen there was a total question mark about my life and suddenly the whole night i was just crying and crying it, even jayesh could not console me he repeatedly told me that don't worry bapu is there with us but still i could not get consolation from him also suddenly i remembered samita da had given me his number and specifically told me that whenever you are feel that there is a need please call up don't hesitate and at night 4 o'clock at the early morning 4 o'clock i just called him up without even realizing that it's early morning 4 o'clock i should not disturb anyone but still i just call up as if he is my everything and you won't believe immediately samita da picked up the phone and told me don't worry at all everything will be fine and immediately everyone started pouring uh, bapu bhakta started calling up that don't worry everything would be fine and i could really get consolation from every side i don't think anyone in this whole world could have consoled me excepting bapu samita da told us to meet the suchi dada once the reports are there with us it took 2 3 days for the reports to come and in report doctor had told that this kidney failure will grow on grow gradually and eventually kidney will die so we were very afraid once report came came we called up suchi dada and they told immediately come up we all are waiting for you suchi dada explained us so very nicely that as a uh, viral fever stays for 3 days malaria stays for 15 days typhoid stays for a month this kidney problem will stay not long and nothing would happen don't worry and once suchi dada i said nothing will happen we had that faith yes nothing would happen and till today 
Bapu has shown like his grace and his blessing. Today, after seven years also, Jayesh is completely fine, without any dialysis, without any transplant. During Marathi lecture, Bapu always used to say that you should eat uh, homemade food, don't eat outside, and you should always drink cow milk. Jayesh being very thin, we always thought that it's not applicable. He needs to put on some weight, so cow milk is not good for him. And being auditors, we have to eat outside food, so it's not applicable to us. It's a part of our life. But when doctor told us the treatment, we were surprised that he has to reduce on his protein that he can do by having cow milk. And he cannot eat outside food because uh, it may cause infection, which is dangerous for his life. So, Bapu some way got it implemented, which we could not understand. Meanwhile, we had booked one property. We were under impression that it's for 50 lakhs. Somehow there was some confusion into this. And when uh, we went to Suchi Dada, we were reluctant that all throughout the life I have been in a joint family and now to separate out was difficult phase for me and in this situation when Jayesh's health was not good and my kids were also small. But Suchi Dada told, no, you have to go and you buy that property. So then nothing looking back and we went ahead for transacting that uh, property deal. But during that we came to know that property price is not 50 lakhs but 1 crore 50 lakhs. Now we had made provisions for only 50 lakhs. We had shares of 50 lakhs. Now Bapu knew that we don't have money to buy the property but since Dada had told us we had to buy that property and Bapu played an important role. Bapu increased the market price to such an extent that the value of the shares which was 50 lakh we, when we entered into the transaction went up to 1 crore 50 lakhs and the same shares we utilized for building that home which is not ours but of Bapu's and each and every moment Bapu showed the present each and every transaction we could feel that yes this share market is increasing just because Bapu is doing that and Bapu gave us that property where the 50 lakhs and where 1.5 50 lakhs 1 crore 50 lakhs it was amazing thing which could happen in our life. Meanwhile, Jayesh told me that you contest for elections. In our chartered accountancy, we have elections every three years. I was reluctant because one, one side there was an uncertainty about his health. Anytime, anything can happen. And it's very difficult phase. I was not practicing. I don't know many CAs. Hardly I know 30 CAs. 15 CAs are there in our family and 15 other a small group of chartered account whom I know. So in all around 30 chartered accountants. And in that scenario, it was very difficult for me to contest for election. Once you get elected, you have to do a lot of work. A lot of, you have to work outside. You have to go out station. And, and the situation which I was with small kids and with Jayesh's health, it was I thought it's not possible for me, but Jayesh was forcing me a lot. I tried to explain Jayesh, but it was, I, I failed. So then ultimately at that time also I remembered Bapu. I went to Samir Dada with an intention that, Samir Dada, please explain Jayesh, that we are not in situation where I can do this kind of things. But there, on the contrary, Samir Dada told me, why you don't want to contest for elections? I t there are only two reasons. One is Jayesh's health, I have to take care of him. Remember the words, I told him, I have to take care of Jayesh and my kids are very small. And Dada told me, do you think you are taking care of Jayesh? Is it you, you are taking care of Jayesh? And I realized my mistake. No, who am I to take care of Jayesh? Jayesh doctor has already told that his kidneys are dying. And still he is living with those dead kidneys. Who am I to take care of him? So Bapu was taking care of his kidney. So one problem was solved. I don't need to take care of Jayesh. Bapu is there to take care, take care of Jayesh. And so far as kids are concerned, Bapu, Dada told that kids are like birds. 
they need to fly so at any any time you have to make them responsible so make them responsible you can test for the elections so imagine dada has told so again i got an assurance okay babu is there with us everything will find fair so i set and made a list of chartered accountants whom i know the 30 numbers and we require more than 2000 3000 chartered accountants who win the elections how am i going to do that so uh, i again started moving i went to surat baruj baroda amdabad met few of the chartered accountants i didn't had any agenda what to talk to the chartered account why am i contesting for elections i didn't had anything anything in my mind just papu has told you contest for the elections and i was contesting so i picked up one topic which papu had raised during that time which was uh, liberate india under that papu was always saying about compulsory voting and negative voting i started preaching about the same thing because in our uh, in our institute also there is very less voting so i started talking about that and people were really amazed about listening to all those things fine uh, during this again jayesh's health deteriorated and doctor suggested us to go for transplant but we knew nothing would happen because dada had told us everything will be all right but uh, we are human we are not god we are not we are simple human so i again went to dada dada jayesh ka transplant and i said no don't worry nothing will happen you continue doing your canvassing nothing will happen to jayesh and my speed of canvassing had reduced a lot bapu knew this he knew that her child is not his child is not working properly there's something lacking so just two days before the election through some unknown sources i met around 2000 chartered accountants just two days before elections elections went off normally people sit on the contestants uh, keep a watch on the booths whether their uh, voters have given the votes or not i didn't had any list of voters so i didn't know whether who are my voters so there was no uh, watching on booths on 25th of december thursday the elections results were coming out it was posted on the in the continuous uh, results were getting posted on the internet samidada swapnil sinha aur sinha everyone were watching it on the internet i was in a losing positions i thought forget it it's not our cup of tea let us go it's thursday we'll listen to bapu and everything will be right we went there for hindi lecture before a lecture we met bapu and samidada also since uh, next day we had to start preparation for jayesh's transplant that time also samidada told us in life graph may go up or down but you should not worry everything bapu will do everything right during that lecture bapu told if my uh, bhakta is in africa surrounded by wild animals i don't have to get up from here i'll save him remaining over here something similar happened in my case also there was counting going on in delhi bapu was here i was listening to bapu as soon as bapu stepped down after finishing lecture i got an sms that i won the election i don't know what bapu did sitting over here in delhi how he counted and how he posted the put up the votes in my box i don't know but i got elected and next day when the final results came out i came to know that i am the only lady amongst the 22 members council and it was like i don't know what to do now i was elected next day though these were good news we had to still go for jayesh's checkup because his transplant was planned we went for the checkup and his report came that everything is normal and transplant was cancelled that he does not need any transplant this was the first occasion when his transplant was cancelled life went on and we could feel each and every moment of life bapu's presence with us bapu's presence surrounding me wherever i went i felt there is aura spread spreading around me and bapu was standing with me whenever i used to talk to people 
they were amazed with the way i was talking i knew i was not talking it was bapu who was making me talk with the people meantime bapu had told us also about my children my children were good at studies but they were uh, coming to the ranks of around 7th or 8th rank in the schools but after my coming to institute after giving a lot of time to our institute and giving less time to kids they have started understanding the responsibilities and now bapu is taking care of them bapu i is teaching them and they have started scoring rank second or third ranks and their results have improved this shows that in my absence also bapu and i are taking care of my kids i have to move around a lot but i'm not worried about my kids because i know someone is there to take care of them 3 years have passed now again there are elections yesterday only i was i gave my form to bapu and he has told don't worry go ahead bindas and yes i am bindas <laughs> meantime again twice it had happened that jayesh was advised for transplant this was 2 years back during dhanteras he was not well he had caught viral fever doctor had told us that in any case if he uh, gets fever or any infection immediately we will have to go for transplants he had caught fever he was not well and we were advised for transplant again he normally takes seva through gujarat upasana kendra but that time he refused because he was not not in a position to stand also but he suddenly got a call from sanstha that he is offered uh, he has to perform maha aarti with against bapu and we were happy i was at the same time i was wondering how will he stand up for that long but bapu was there you won't believe that aarti thali is so heavy for me it is not possible to catch that thali and jayesh was not at all in that position my eyes were closed i thought i am sleepy and i was performing aarti for half an hour it was not possible for us to catch that thari, for me to catch that thari it was bapu who was holding i was literally sleeping that time i felt i am sleeping i don't know who was holding that thali this was one thing but again amazing thing happened very next day when he again went up for the check up and creatinine level fell down infections again was cleared and again transplant was cancelled that's the beauty of what bapu can do with us again now doctor has told now creatinine level has showed up we should go for transplant i told doctor whatever you want to do you do it my bapu is with me he will not let anything happen to my husband to my life how do you i would just like at the end to say bapu is there bapu has shown us the path if we follow that path bapu will always remain with us i love you bapu thank you khari